Davis was a rising Broadway star. The night he stood in for the ailing Danny Kaye, he brought down the house, getting 13 curtain calls. Then, the world went mad. Families were ripped apart. His brother was killed in action. Gary enlisted, eager to bomb Hitler's war factories. But then he was ordered to bomb a city full of civilians. Horrified at the carnage, he was enraged at the war system. Sure that there must be a better way to run our world, he set off to right the wrongs and prevent World War III. He gave up Broadway and made the whole world his stage. He dared to interrupt the squabbling of nations to demand that the UN hold worldwide elections of a global Congress to outlaw war and make peace. 20,000 war-weary Europeans rallied with him to demand that the world recognize the rights of humanity. May nous devons choisir entre les difficultés et les massacres de la guerre. Moi, j'ai choisi. The very next day, the UN unanimously passed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. With that authority, Gary then staged the most audacious performance of all. He declared a government of, by, and for the people of the world. He gave up his United States citizenship to raise his allegiance to the global level. He became the first official world citizen. His new government issued IDs, marriage licenses, and passports. Nations first rejected them and locked Gary up for failing to have national papers. But amazingly, hundreds of thousands began to register as world citizens. Nations around the globe began to stamp the world passports. Thousands of refugees and detainees, incarcerated for years for lack of identity papers, obtained world passports and for many, freedom. Today, Gary Davis still stands up for a world most people can only dream about. A world in which humanity is united. A future in which we free ourselves from the scourge of war and oppression. A world in which we are one. I'm Gary Davis, and I made it to age 90. Oh. <laughs> And as a citizen of no nation, only the world. Hey, if I can do that, anybody can. Tom Paine wrote, my country is the world. Well, think about it. If our country is the world, suddenly, no more wars. Wow. I named my book that because if our country is the world, then suddenly the seemingly impossible problems like saving our planet, environment, become manageable. Does world government scare you? Well, it does me too. If it's the same old forces of power and money controlling our lives from behind closed doors. But what if we, the people, institute our own government truly of, by, and for the people of the world? After all, we are the sovereigns, the ones who create governments and give them power. So what if instead of just voting for those politicians, we asked how can we, as sovereign world citizens, govern our world? Visionary, you bet, but doesn't every advance start with imagination? When we catch the vision of a people-powered planet, then, in this era of instant communication, we'll be able to evolve the tools and the platforms we need to bring the highest, and best wisdom of each individual to the task of governing planet Earth. Claim your power and let's join together to build a world in which each of us can say, my country.
is the world.